you go to school, you meet so many different people from different places who do so many different things that you really broaden your horizons and get to do things you've never done. You'll, you'll change. You'll grow up. And I, I really did. I mean, from how from being, you know, 18 to, to 22 is a huge difference in how you think. It really is. Some people say you meet your best friends in college. I can agree with that. I've met some pretty great people. As long as you're organized, you'll be able to meet the deadlines. Um, I was organized and I didn't have a problem with it. So just keep a, keep track of all the deadlines and you'll be fine. Do you think most college students decide on a major before they go to school? I believe a lot of college students believe they decided on a major, but when they get here, they see so many different opportunities and different interests, so then they might switch. So I don't think it's ever confirmed until they graduate. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't really thinking that much of college in high school, but seeing what they were telling everybody, maybe that they would just tell kids that it's not as big of a deal to figure your major out till you get to college. Uh, do you know a lot of people, or have you yourself had any experience with you know, not finishing in four years, like they say it's supposed to be a four-year program, or, or what's, what's sort of been everyone's individual path? When I was in high school, I thought college was a four-year process, period. I thought it was one, two, three, four, and you're done and you're out, and it's not. Were you concerned at all about paying for school or about uh, financial aid when you were going through the application process? Panicked. Yeah. Definitely. That's, that's why I came here is because I got a scholarship, and... Um, it was, it was a big issue and a big concern and worry, and it kind of uh, took a big load off when I did get a scholarship here. Really do your research and your homework on uh, every opportunity that you can for scholarship money or anything like that. I, I know my first year, I got a scholarship just for having asthma. Books, actually, yeah. I would say the books were a little bit way too overpriced. Some advice on the books is definitely buy them off the Internet. What have, what have books been for you, just the average? I would say 300, 400. My, uh, I've gone to two different colleges. and uh, My first semester, I, I was really overwhelmed by college, and you taking all the partying and all the fun, and I really slipped, and your GPA really drops. And that's that's a significant part of college is your GPA, because that's what you're really here for is your grades. Regardless, what advice would you give to college freshmen about living in a dorm? Well, freshman year, I wish I had known what to bring up with me, because there were a lot of things that I forgot that I had at home that I ended up having to buy at school. I think... Uh, it's a good idea to make a list. I know like when I came up I sort of forgot like alarm clock and, and just little things that you kind of take for granted. Thanks for watching the 8 Things I Wish I Knew Before College video podcast. Sponsored by Youth Pulse. We hope it helps you plan. For more information on planning and paying for college, go to the Youth Group website and join us this Sunday night for College Prep Night.